Greetings! Welcome to That Munch Life uh, CCG edition. Uh, it's just me and Tank today. Uh, Corey is not very photogenic these days. So, uh, As he ever. Uh, well, okay, uh, voluntarily not just photogenic <laughs> these days. Uh, well, I played a game with Corey the other day and he just didn't want to film, so boo, boo on him. There is no photographic evidence that I lost that game. <laughs> So, uh, today we'll be playing uh, Tank's Thief Deck, which you may have seen on the last episode. Um, and I will be playing a Cleric Deck, but it's a very special Cleric Deck that I have made with uh, all the locations. Almost all. I would say, not actually all of them, but half this deck is locations. So, if you've ever actually played the CCG, you will notice that... You're only a you're a, a, a your average competitive deck has two three locations you know maybe four if you're feeling saucy um, this has at last count 19 locations uh, I have also replaced the normal cleric uh, hero card with a goldfish wanderer because of the uh, wanderer power that it has but it's still technically considered a cleric deck because it contains cleric cards in addition to the greys, which is how that works. Um, you may have seen this deck on my deck breakdown video. Uh, I have since put in a couple of the locations from Fashion Furious, so it's slightly different than the bre deck breakdown video, uh, but it's essentially the same. It has the same theme, and it's still called the Where the Hell Are We deck. Uh, my deck list is available upon uh, request. If you want it, I'll post it. I have no problems with that. I'm not secretive about, about my deck lists. In fact, they're already up on Facebook. Yeah, <laughs> I say, they, uh, like I said, I've tweaked them since then, uh, so I may post updated uh, videos for that, or maybe just explain in the comments of those videos what I've changed out. There's a couple of things I changed in the Thief deck, there's a couple of things I changed in this deck, there's... Uh, I need to do a breakdown rebuild of the Grey deck, and I want to do a video for my Wizard deck, uh, so you should see that deck breakdown video sometime in the near future. Um, we will, for those who are interested, post a link in the description to the Munchkin CCG uh, group on Facebook. Yeah, uh, Zapped and Squished is what it's called. If you just search for it on Facebook, you'll find it. Uh, also, the Buy, Sell, Trade group is on there as well. A bunch of good people there. I've never had a problem uh, trading with people in vast, vast distances from here. So uh, That's because they get blackballed real fast. They get blackballed <laughs> real fast. So I mean, <laughs> But they're all very friendly people. And uh, they, like usually when I trade with someone... I end up ha I end up friending them, so it's uh, they're kind of a tight knit group. So find us on find me on Zach and Squish, find me on uh, the buy sell trade, find me on the Steve Jackson forums, find me on the uh, uh, Munchkin CCG game site. Uh, I'm I'm available out there. You can talk to me. I, I'm not just your uh, aloof YouTube star, but. Uh, <laughs> Correction, aspiring. Aspiring. Uh, aspiring. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm coming for you, Matt Pat. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're going to set this up and we'll get it going. Uh, there will be a smash cut and then you'll just see the mats for the duration of the game. You won't see my smiling face after this. So. Yeah, we're going to definitely save you that. Ta-da! As if by magic, we've learned how to do a cut or two. I. <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> it starts well. He rolled a one. Would have laughed if you had rolled a one. I know. Right? <laughs> Sometimes I get big for my britches, and usually Corey is the one to put me in my place uh, and beat my deck, whatever it is. I go. I just beat Tank four times. Flip, 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 flip. I win. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> as much guff as we've given Corey for his uh, uh, Magic: The Gathering tendencies over the years. Tendencies. Addiction. 
addiction. Mm -mm. I, I the am, man crushes up magic cards and snorts them. I'm, I'm, <laughs> down, I'm <laughs> downplaying it because the, it has actually helped him, helped his uh, his CCG mind. Uh, he's taught me a thing or two about deck building, and uh, he is a formidable opponent. <coughs> and I enjoy every game I play with him, win or lose. <laughs> so I mean, it's uh. It is fun to play. It's just yes. And if you're watching, Corey, I'm not just saying this in case you're watching. You, I've said this to your face. <laughs> Need to play me more, you asshole. Yeah, play tight more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've done a lot of math on this because... This deck is actually based around a location called the Inn of Improbable Rooms. And I have set it up so that there is approximately an 89% chance of being able to get the Inn on the first or second turn. That includes the, uh, the Mulligan if I have to take it, that includes uh, the goldfish power, if I have to use it, that includes house hunting, if I have to spend for that. And the funny thing is, the chance goes up the further on we go. Yeah. So I will go second. You know what? I'm fine with this. <laughs> Me too, medallion. Tap it. Mm -hmm. Tap it. Oh yeah, it's his turn. He, he's yeah. behind. Mm. Are you gonna? I need that other gold for a thing, so okay. <laughs> I'm good for now. Elfie. I'm not gonna let you go first and start with two gold. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> That was a little backwards, sorry. <coughs> I knew what I was throwing back onto the bottom of the deck, so... <coughs> One... Bodyguard. <coughs> Does he call you Al? I'm not gonna take the fuck out. It's a Paul Simon son. Ask your parents. Possibly oh. grandparents. <coughs> The, the music video, ask your parents, had Chevy Chase in it. Again, ask, ask your, your parents. parents. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Are you done, sir? I am done. Okay. You aimed it back, so I assumed, but, you know, when you assume, you make an ass out of you. House hunting. <laughs> if one of these days he looks like Adam Sandler from Little Nicky, it's because I've hit him in the face with a shovel. <laughs> hit me in the face with a shovel. Oh, thank you, house hunting. <laughs> Sixth from the bottom. <laughs> it's a good thing you have two house huntings. Because you have a good chance of pulling that. <laughs> Right. The, hence, adding to the 86% chance. <laughs> 89. I, I upped it to 89 because of that. <laughs> this is what he does while he's at work. Yes. Yeah. He sits there and runs numbers in his head. Uh, yeah. All I have to do is type in alphanumeric key lines and people's addresses. I know where you live. Just all of you. <laughs> <laughs> So I play through deck scenarios in my head all day long. To be fair, Corey does the same thing, only he gets to work at home. So he, he gets to work at home and he gets government insurance. Yeah, so <laughs> so he not only deck builds at home, he probably deck builds in his underwear. While on the phone with people. <laughs> While on the phone with, with, with people. Yeah, we're going to go with people. I don't want to say what, he, what uh, government agency he works for. I don't think we mentioned it before. No, I don't think we have. All right, well, 
Otherwise, he might have a bunch of angry ex-soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> hey, there's a couple agencies that are like that. Just, you know, we live in Kansas, we don't live in Virginia. <laughs> so it's not that one. <laughs> I might have to bleep tank a couple of times. I learned how to do that, too. <laughs> Good. I'll be making him get the fuck to do his job. <laughs> it's a family show. Don't fucking swear. <laughs> I'm definitely going to watch this episode now. <laughs> Go. <laughs> so that means you have to edit it. <laughs> the minute we get a sponsor, I'll go back and edit all of these. Oh, no. <laughs> the funny thing is, I work for an evil corporation. <laughs> Listen, if we could possibly be brought to you by Diet Dr. Pepper, that would be fine. Mountain Dew, <laughs> too, please. <laughs> Is it Diet Mountain Dew? I just happen to have that one, you know, prop wise. Hello. <laughs> Me too, Medallion. Uh, well, I got the in out. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Ooh. I mean, that'll do. Elf Thief? Three. That's skewer. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> R. Dip. I apparently already have ninety eight damage on it. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, the inn makes me immortal. I'm Almost. immortal. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to go outside and find a brick. <laughs> yeah. Wow, he has to go out inside and find some sort of cudgel where I have several ranged firearms waiting for him when he gets back. <laughs> you wouldn't shoot me. No, I'd shoot around you. Yeah, because yeah. if you shot me, they'd take the gun. <laughs> It doesn't matter if you were in self-defense. They'd take the gun. <laughs> it's like, you open the door while you're outside. You know where I have permission to come to my house, Castle Doctor? <laughs> Give me my card. <laughs> Give me my cards. Uh, Ferengi salvage rights. If I see it first, it's mine. If I see it second, but I get there first, it's mine. <laughs> if you get there first, but I get there and have superior weaponry, it's mine. <laughs> I like these salvage rights. <laughs> if you get there first, but you turn your back for even a second, it's mine. I <laughs> bleed because you're a vestige. Yep. Yep. That's me. Everybody seems to think I'm this nice guy. <clears throat> The main right. conversation with Brandon. Now, you, you might have noticed that the in comes into play zapped, which means you can't use its power until you unzap it on the next turn. But now that I have, because it's my next turn, we get the Plains of Pain, the After Party, the Dungeon of Dragons, and that's all for now. <laughs> okay, that one's zapped. Oh, yes, it is. And now the rest are. Okay, so we skip the flip step of our warm-up phase, so no more running away without penalty. Uh, during each hero's cooldown, that hero rolls a die. One to three, all stashed monsters take one damage. On a four to six, the die roll has no effect. And the Planes of Pain, when it comes into play, or when it comes into uh, unzapped, uh, when any hero hires a monster, all heroes take one damage. This might make for a shorter game. <laughs> I need to get a Plains of Pain. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to put out Barbarian the Librarian. Okay. Do your thing. I'm doing the thing. For those, for the uninitiated, doing the thing for us means uh, going into the cooldown phase, collecting your gold, increasing your level, not in that order, and then for this particular location, rolling the die, and doing a damage to all those monsters in this dash. I forgot to do the thing last round. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> uh, 
Did you see that I posted the other episode today? I haven't been on YouTube all day. Ah. Well, don't you get email? Don't you get an email? Push the notification bell. Oh I God. had it. <laughs> it just stopped. I'm going to zap the meeting with you. Yeah, that sounds like fun. <laughs> I might get more locations. Finders keepers. No. Oh, wait, no. You have to no, I'm not that doing that one. No. Yeah. Okay, well, you can have no, it back. No, I'm not doing that one. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's the contingency for the hot potato. Yeah. <laughs> uh, say, finders keepers cost you a loot. Uh, up my sleeve. Up my sleeve is the one. But uh, finders keepers is good because and you can get cheaper. weapons with it. It's cheaper, and you can go get weapons with it. Yeah. Whereas up my sleeve is a trinket. just yeah, specifically trinkets. You, so you can't even get armor. <laughs> but I have up my sleeve in my terrific roll deck because toes. Thief. I keep wanting to make my Explodia deck uh, into my Thief deck so I can have the Fingers and Toes deck. And that's when I stabbed him, Your Honor. You should see the, the, <laughs> like, the go to hell stares I'm getting from it. It's pointed at the mats right now because game, but you know, I'm getting the looks. It's. It's pretty great. If looks could kill, you guys would be yeah. seeing me play against the zombie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have one of those handy. There's actually a bard card called If Looks Could Kill. You know, I am going to do that. Pay one. Finders keepers. Squish my Me Too medallion. Gasp. If he goes and gets a Me Too medallion, you're going to bop him on the head. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, let's be honest. I don't have much in the way of loot. See? Or if he does, that means that he's trying to get a Me Too medallion in his discards to go get it back somehow with, I'm guessing, a used card dealer. Since the reanimator is a wizard card. There is Me Too medallion. Uh that is. Mm -hmm. Alright, okay. <laughs> well, it's not. Well, oh, it's big not. damage. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> goldfinch. Goldfinch. So, I guess uh, I go back, you take a gold. I say, no damage yet. Nope. But, I, it, you I don't take a damage yet. But you roll at the in the cooldown and see if it takes a damage. That's fine. Yeah. You take two. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Another one, you say? Uh, I'm early. <laughs> Probably a stealer. <laughs> Me too, medallion. Is that? Mm, yeah, why not? <laughs> Is that one that you just paid me to play out the ambulance chaser? <laughs> So the goldfinch takes the damage? Yep. There you go. <laughs> <coughs> Alright. It is now Brendan's turn. Ah, okay. <laughs> I thought you only had three gold in front of you. I'm like, I, I did. 
<laughs> All right, so now I unzap the plane that been. I take my skewer. <coughs> well, that could be interesting. White Brothers Dungeon and the Cowardly Canyon. Isn't that the one where you take damage from running away? Uh, no. Uh, when a hero runs away, the attacker takes a gold. Mm. <laughs> and when a monster survives the fight, it takes one damage. <laughs> <laughs> Which is way better than the other version of White Brothers. <laughs> Those guys are assholes. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna do that, so I might as well. Go house hunting! <laughs> what am I gonna look for now? Now we look for Whimsy because the inn is already in play. Right there on the bottom is a really fun one. Uh, <laughs> oh, doggies, that one's fun too. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is in the running. <laughs> Not land. <laughs> Uh -huh. I kind of like that one. Plus, you don't really want me gathering that much gold. Play out land! Ooh! <laughs> Shiny! Yeah! Shiny! Oh, yeah! Mostly, I'm just remembering all of these. I haven't played this deck in a while. Because it is, in fact, a lot of whimsy. I'm still waiting for him to come out with a war screwdriver. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with the House of Indulgences. <laughs> Which means, during our reckoning step now, we draw two cards, and... Uh, Draw two cards and move one card from your hand to the top of your deck. <laughs> Interesting. Yes. So essentially it's just making you draw an extra card. Basically. But you do have to do the touchback thing because sometimes there's other reckoning abilities that might affect your uh, your deck. Like there are spill effect uh, no. locations. I don't have any because I think the only ones that are uh, spill effect are thief locations right have now. Have they put down a list of what what goes first during reckoning? I All asked specifically. Spell. It is the order in which the pl current player chooses. Huh. Yes. Because I was asking because of the elf commune. Where if you have exactly two cards in your hand during your reckoning step you get to draw two cards. Mm -hmm. So if you were to have a draw effect reckoning, uh, would you draw before or after that, depending on how advantageous it was for you? If you only had one card, you could draw and then draw two more. So it's whatever strategically works at the moment. Yes, it is whatever order you choose with multiple reckoning effects. <clears throat> I'm glad they don't have like a complex fucking chart. <laughs> <laughs> You draw first, then you discard, then you do a thing, then you spill, then you, <laughs> <laughs> then you turn around three times, rub a cat on your head, and you become a necromancer. Does that make you a necromancer? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh. I need you to bring some people back. <laughs> Some for the greater good, some just for entertainment. <laughs> one of them's entertainment for the greater pretty. good. I don't like doing it. <laughs> That's <laughs> one of them. <laughs> <laughs> when uh, 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 
What was I going to say? I lost it. It's gone now. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Yay, he says. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I got to do the impossible. I yeah. made Brandon lose his train of thought. <laughs> Eat a huge, <laughs> salty bag of dicks. <laughs> got it. <laughs> <laughs> got it. You're preserved in salt. <laughs> the saltiest thing I've ever eaten. I ate a bowl of salt. <laughs> I'll have you know that was 10% less than a legal dose of salt. <gasps> it's <been> nine seconds. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Did you do the thing? No. Oh. I killed <clears throat> the finch. Okay. <clears throat> the finch he did. Yeah, just for funsies, <coughs> on your, it's your turn. I'm just gonna do that. Put the house and thing back. <laughs> so later I can draw more house hunting. Skewer. Oh er, Ske uh, me too, medallion. <laughs> I was like, what? What? <laughs> Ooh. I mean, that'll do. <laughs> Elf thief. <coughs> He's gonna deck himself, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's meet the gentleman. I'll pay two for Robin Hoodlum. Uh -huh. Something you were forgetting to hire a monster. Yeah. All right, what do you get? Use card dealer. Aha. <laughs> Who's probably gonna die soon? I was gonna say, uh, well, yeah, he dies. Me too, medallion. He dies now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Me too, medallion. Yeah. <laughs> Pop. Nah, I'm good this time. Boot to the head. Ah, thwunk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's one damage. One and damage. You and spill two. Ah, locations. <laughs> oh, a doctor meal practice. Oh, healing salvo. Ha 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 ha. Guess what's getting cycled. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how does the cycling one work? Huh? Oh, no. to win. Well, one card from your discard pile to the bottom oh, yeah, of your deck. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why there's nothing. That's why there's indulgences. Ah, too late oh, now. Yeah, it's too late mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Those states zapped. Oh, wait. You hired a monster. We both take a damage. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> I'm not going to make you roll on cooldown because no monsters. <laughs> I did the thing, and it's my more turn. Zort. <coughs> Zort. Skier. Zort. Woo! <coughs> Don't know how I feel about it. Why not? I think it benefits me more than you. The green room! <laughs> During each hero's reckoning step, that hero heals one! <laughs> oh, yeah. Thing. <laughs> Salvo. <laughs> Speaking of healing. <laughs> Derps. <laughs> There's a gaggle of cats around here. <laughs> you know, put out the holier symbol. He has officially reached crazy cat lady status, not of his own fault <laughs> or volition. <laughs> I will zap that holier symbol to heal one, but I don't have a doctor meow practice to do it back to you. You're welcome. 
<laughs> Robin Hoodlum. And look, I drew one of my three monsters. <laughs> it is the Holy Ghost. So I get an extra goal. Yep. And he dies. And then he survives, so he dies. But I resurrect him because he has regenerate. And when you regenerate this, draw one card. It's like. <laughs> Woo! Lumix. <laughs> Purgatory. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> hey! It's Tim. <laughs> <laughs> or no, that's Bob. <laughs> Bob! Mm -hmm. Bob. Gotta love Bob. I wonder if that's like a, just like a lackey they have around the office or something like that, and they just decided to draw him as a ally. I don't know. I'd have to look into it. Don't. Probably like intern or something mm -hmm. like that. Intern Bob. Um, reckoning guy. Draw two. That one goes back on top. Uh, what else do we got for Reckoning right now? Uh, heal one. Heal one. Skip flip step. Cool down. Uh, higher monster. Nope, we're good. Okay, what does Purgatory do? Uh, when any hero commits an ally to a fight, that ally heals one. Nice. It would have been useful earlier. <coughs> well... You still have that maximum of whatever's on the card. Yeah. <laughs> Draw. Me too, medallion. Me too, medallion. Are you, are you paying for either of them? Um. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pay three. Skewer. Ah. <laughs> I have a librarian to put in front of that. <laughs> Squidzilla. Ah! <laughs> Your librarian does die. <laughs> he does indeed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bye, librarian. And. Yeah. <laughs> now the wraps are on you. <laughs> Squidzilla has a bleed effect. Uh, when he survives the fight, he gets attached to my hero card here. It adds to the bleeding. <laughs> this deck's got a lot of that. <laughs> no! <laughs> just wish I had my rat. <clears throat> you know what? Just in case, I don't think I'll play anything it would be useful against, but Liar's Dice. <laughs> Well, that'll be helpful if you actually put out monsters and want to keep them from getting damage on them during your cooldown. Or during my cooldown, because you can reroll any roll. <laughs> Gee, I wonder what it is. Probably not what you're thinking. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Did you take a damage for the uh, for hiring Squidzilla? Because <laughs> I <laughs> okay. Spider. Uh, oh. Uh. oh, nice. Yeah, I need to get my contingency things out. <laughs>
Ouais, Donc, un truc, une dommage. He takes one damage. Yep, from surviving, and then you roll a die. <laughs> Oh, then he dies. Nope, Liars dies. Ah. <laughs> Still dies. Damn it. <laughs> That's not worth it. <laughs> and that means he zapped his Liars dice. You know what that means? I can play this healing salvo. <laughs> And heal five! <laughs> Which you needed. <laughs> yes, I did! I'm sorry, you'll get most of it back at the beginning of your turn. No, I won't. <laughs> no. Okay. Are you done, sir? I am done. Did you put it back on me? Or did we just now put it on you your whole turn? No, I was putting it back on Oh, okay. <laughs> I feel better now. Alright, well... Mitigated. Mitigated, so I think one. Because <laughs> the unzap step comes before reckoning. Ah. <laughs> and then two. And then that one back. Nope, unstash. that and then draw that up. Okay. What I was doing earlier was moving everything that's reckoning up here. <laughs> and then let's move cool down down here. Haha. <laughs> <sighs> Baggage check. Sorry, I'm not bored with the video. <laughs> I'm bored waiting on him. He, did. he just works overnight. Oh, sorry, I spent two on that uh, healing cell. I just I've also been off for the past three days. He's been off for like 30 years. <laughs> 34. Uh, you have moments of lucidity. I was, I was rounding down. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the Gatored Community. Those are not moments of lucidity. <laughs> Those are just times when the insanity makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the reckoning step is getting a little ridiculous now. <laughs> what does the Gator community do? During reckoning step, that hero discards one card or takes one damage. Yee. Yee, he says. <laughs> oh, <fish. coughs> what do I want to put back? Mm. <coughs> oh, I did have get into the locator. The chump dump comes in play zapped. Uh, reduce the gold cost of the first ally played each turn by one gold. <laughs> that means like two thirds of them are free. <laughs> <laughs> kind of makes me wish I had Bertha. <laughs> All right, so now, ding. Uh, no monsters. <laughs> Six. Done. Yep. Did you draw two? <laughs> <laughs> It's still technically reckoning. Alright, and then heal one. And then, uh, if any hero controls three or more loot, that hero must squish one target loot they control. And take one damage or discard one card. That's all the reckoning. See, I put it all at the top, up, hi up here. <laughs> I may have to uh, readjust 
lights and stuff. There we go. Now I have room for more uh, reckoning locations. I reckon. I'm gonna play land. Oh, good. <laughs> he can have as many locations out as he wants too, uh, because the inn because locations apply to both uh, both heroes. Uh, the inn applies to both of us. Four. But we may never have more than one of copy one. of any location out. And certain ones, there can only be one copy. Period. Right. Uh, this one has that. When this comes into play, if there's a copy of this card in your discard pile, squish this. <laughs> Which, I could have multiple copies of this in there, because goldfish, I could go, hmm, I'm going to play that. Cycle. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. I see. Hmm. Some line run. Uh, I'm thinking it might be more squid. <laughs> Which means I'm a little boy. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to do some mischiefs first. Uh, you know that uh, bootleg booty you saw? Mm -hmm. I have two of them. And so both of those Me Too medallions are gone, and I heal four. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> the spender. Oh, good. Take a look at one of the two guys. <laughs> 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 He takes a damage. Bye, Spider! Well, actually, he's got two of yeah, I would say he takes a damage, which means you have a chance to save him. I was kind of saving those bootleg booties for late game until you mentioned your contingency planks. Because <laughs> for some reason I had forgotten about those! <laughs> Taught me about him. I know. <laughs> That's why I said it ironically. Sorry, right. so elf thief. Okay. Now, right, I Oh, did you take a damage for hiring that monster too? Oh, also, I ran, I ran away earlier, so you have an extra gold. <laughs> oh, and uh, you have land. So. Okay. <laughs> I've just played that this turn, so... Oh, did you? Get it. Yeah. Yeah. No, okay, never mind that. Okay, my bad. Uh... <laughs> Which means this might be a parrot or a cheetah. Because I know thief cards. <laughs> or I might be cheating again. Well, he could always limp away. I say he might be overpaying for Mugsy. Alright, I'll see. There you go. It is a pair. Aha! <laughs> Which would be the same either way if you had cheated or not, but you get to draw two because you have cheated. <laughs> Aw, the flaming foyer! And smite unseed! <laughs> Guess what's heading cycle? <laughs> it's hard to spill a deck that has the goldfish wanderer. <laughs> Don't forget you take a three for that, and then one for the monster being hired. Yep. There you go. <laughs> one. Whacked. 
Discard a card at random. K. <laughs> Ah, come on. <laughs> Looks so much cooler in my head. <laughs> <laughs> my ghost! Uh, we'll just point that and get the other asshole. Alright, alright. Are you done yet, Captain Golden Heaven? Oof. Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Hope so. Ah, uh, hey, look. Is it? <laughs> that was for the spider. Oh well, no, it's uh, it's just the die roll. One through three, all stash monsters take one damage. So you okay. only have to roll once. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I have not liar's dice, so I don't, I don't get to try to do anything. Your turns. Hooray! Uh, May I partake in this tasty bloodletting? <laughs> <laughs> it's only take one. <laughs> you don't heal on my reckoning. No, I just took another damage. Oh, oh okay. Because mm -hmm. don't I take one? Um, you're not bleeding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that unzaps too. <coughs> and then I draw two of these. And I put one back. Two of back. Ha 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 Now you will. <laughs> More reckoning! Tax heaven! Oh, I get a gold for reckoning. One, two. I don't have more than three. Uh, take one damage from the thing, and then, yeah. During each hero's reckoning step, that hero takes one damage and one gold. <laughs> so that'll be phenomenally interesting. And then, no, I'm dead. Killed my ghost. Yeah, come on. It's another ghost. <laughs> Hi, Dick Hole. Hi, Dick Hole. <laughs> so that's one damage for both of us for hiring the monster. Two damage for you for the monster. And then uh, one damage for him for surviving. Which kills him, and then I resurrect him, which means I get to draw a card. <laughs> and he's not affected by uh, the, the roll. <laughs> <laughs> I like these ghosts! <laughs> and I do the thing and decide where I want to go back. Mm -hmm. Not the flaming fire, I'm taking enough damage. Yeah, I came over here hoping for a fast game, and then he said he wanted to put a <laughs> pearl ball on the deck. And I knew this was going to be a clusterfuck. <laughs> the, this deck is either really fast or really slow. <laughs> I guess me, it's always really slow. The, there is no in between with this deck. <laughs> the only way this deck is fast against me is if I play a ranger. That's usually because I'm beating him senseless while taking the damage while doing so. <laughs> so one of us is going to die quickly. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now let's see if I can kill your spider. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> You, sir, are a cut lunch. So I take... Okay, what do we got? So uh, take take damage, damage. Get a gold. Get a gold. And we both take a gold for your land. Uh, draw two cards and put one on the back of your back on the top of your deck. 
Heal one. Uh, if you have three or more loot, squish one. And uh, discard a card or take one damage. Take the damage. Okay. Sometimes he forgets he takes a damage for cheating. <laughs> Which is even more cheating! The, even more rampant cheating than usual! Does this surprise anyone? <laughs> I forgot, I forgot I was even mugging at the camera and I forgot it was your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to get really sleepy because I've been up for hours. Mm -hmm. Alright. Squizzilla! Ah, more squids. <laughs> oh, flip. <laughs> flip, he says. Uh, did you take one for hiding nothing? I <coughs> See, now it's getting interesting. Four is a lot of gold. Could always run a lip away. <laughs> he says that a lot. <laughs> okay, come on, play it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying stuff to the camera because, I, you know, silence isn't good TV. Uh... The parrot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I take one, take three from the parrot. Whacked. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like these cards. <laughs> <laughs> Turn me up right there, it is. Bye, <laughs> asshole kitty! <laughs> that's, that's redundant. Not in his case. <laughs> He's like super asshole. <laughs> okay. But when your cat really loves you, he'll just jump up on your chest and show you his butt. <laughs> it's like you won a prize for being a cat daddy. You get the cat ass trophy. That's when I shot him. Arr! <laughs> I got a million of them, folks. Uh, we've been doing this for a couple of years now, so I got like 987,000 of them left. Yeah, that was a mega so. <laughs> Anyway, so let's do the thing. <laughs> Okie McDookie. Alright, go. Let's see if I survive the reckoning step. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you might have an aneurysm trying to process it. I barely can. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. I get two gold. And I get two cards. Wow. 
would have been nice like six turns ago. <laughs> Dr. Malpractice is even going to be free. <laughs> oh, uh, the parrot took a damage for surviving. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And then you didn't roll. <coughs> okay. Hi! Do not adjust your TV sets. He is that ugly. <laughs> <laughs> You can take this much of me. I've done the <laughs> framing on this. I don't get to say anything <laughs> <laughs> very often. I mean, come on. Everybody who watches our show knows how much of an asshole I am. <laughs> but what they don't know is everybody keeps thinking I'm a nice guy. <laughs> uh, Moving in down here to put up more reckoning. Hmm. What the hell's that one? The catwalk. On the catwalk. Ask your parents. <laughs> don't. Don't. <laughs> don't uh, shout out to Right Said Fred. You got nothing else to do right now. So I guess you're watching all of the obscure YouTube channels. And uh, I, I'd just like to say that I enjoyed that song. I, I loved you on uh, Last Week Tonight with John Oliver last year, too. Last year? Year before? Well, one of those years. You came out and did a version of I'm Too Sexy on on John Oliver's show. It was awesome. But uh, the catwalk is this comes into play zapped. During each hero's reckoning step, that hero mu must move all unzapped loot from their hoard to its owner's hand. Hmm. <laughs> Which is a weird card. And I know where I want to put one. In the uh, experimental monsterless deck. <laughs> <laughs> Because then you can have out loot during your during like at the end of the turn you go oh okay ten stars worth of stuff. Sorry, let me add an exclamation point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ten stars worth of stuff during my next reckoning step. Scoop, monster, monster, monster. <laughs> <laughs> it's the perfect crime, you see. Uh, Hilarious. Good job, Brandon. See, that, that situation he was describing there, that's what we call getting mushroom stamped. <laughs> Don't ask your parents. Don't ask your parents. Don't Google it either. <laughs> oh, I can think of way worse. I was going to say, do, do not Google mushroom stamping along with uh, lemon parties and blue waffles. <laughs> <laughs> or Arabian goggles. Or Arabian <laughs> goggles. Just don't Google stuff. <laughs> don't don't Google weird shit. I was gonna say, if you Google anything, just have safe search on, unless you're looking for that sort of thing. Which, if you're watching this, you're probably pretty turned off. So you know, go ahead. But still, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Daniel looked up. This was exactly what she typed into the Google search: random stuff. Ooh. <laughs> I got a completely different <laughs> bunch of crap when I did it, so it's entertaining. The, the Google pigeons are working. Yeah. Uh, if you uh, if you Google the word anagram, it actually says, "Did you mean negaram?" <laughs> <laughs> Man. I do love how Google is literally run by randomness nerds. Yes. Yes, it is. It's like they took you and added computer programming and the ability to pay attention to written code for <laughs> more than five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, if I heal a monster, I'll die. Or if I hire a monster, I'll die. And if I do anything else, I'll die. So, I'm just going to pass the turn and see 
when I die, whimsically. <laughs> so, Are you going to roll? I will, in a moment. I haven't done the thing yet. As a matter of fact. Oh yeah, that is that because I blocked the damage, because otherwise I'd be dead. I was like, I'm going to squish it. No, I'm going to... <laughs> yep. <laughs> Good turn. Awesome. <laughs> and I don't get any gold, because... I already have more than eight. <laughs> and then... Nope. <laughs> both get a gold from your land. And then you take a damage and get a gold. And then you draw two cards and top deck one. And then you heal one. I think just you just did that. I, I Oh. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, if you control three or more loot, squish one, or and then take a damage or discard a card. Six. Six. <laughs> I'm just gonna kill it. <laughs> parrot. Bye, parrot. <laughs> You get to keep all that. Five. <laughs> well, if I limp away, I die. <laughs> but I'll be limping away on my own terms. <laughs> it's like Shane riding off on the horse. Come back, Shane! <laughs> yeah, I'm actually going to be generous. I am going to ge be generous. I'm going to give a blood. Mm -hmm. Pay gold. Smoke bomb! Put <laughs> <laughs> <So, laughs> your runaway marker back over. Now, do you really want to run away? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Smart man. <laughs> Hey, look at another parrot. I died. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason why I went ahead and just went ahead. I died. He flipped over a parrot and I died. I don't know when the uh, the camera turned off. I'll find out later. But, uh, yeah, he flipped over a parrot. He flipped my runaway marker back to runaway to give me a chance. But I uh, turned down that chance because he also had a stabity stab which would have killed me anyway because <laughs> I was in 19 but that was the uh, the deck of infinite whimsy as we've uh, affectionately called it several times and uh, I, I still like the where the hell are we yeah. Yeah, where the hell are we deck uh, 3, 6, 9 10, 13, 14 I had 14 of my 19 locations out I call that a victory for this deck <laughs> <laughs> Because I have another name for this deck, and I know Brandon's going to have to go in and, and bleep it out now. <laughs> I call it that random goat fucker. Because <laughs> you made me spill one of them, so that's 15. How yeah. many do you have in your hand? None. Okay. I always put them out. Uh, let's see. School of Badassery was on the bottom. Uh, the Just Desert. Goldman Stacks. And land. <laughs> Those are the ones that were left. If I had put out land, we'd have been getting three gold, or yeah, three gold on our own reckoning and two on the other person's reckoning. That's five gold not connected to our level. I was thinking about putting out the uh, um, expensive carry in it right at the beginning of my turn. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, no, that that just no. So. Uh, I believe I've taken this deck back beyond uh, actual playability uh, for the purposes of uh, whim Tournament. of for the purposes of whimsy. No, it, well, in in spite uh. of itself, for purposes of whimsy. Uh, so I might just Two. go. I might just go whole hog. Find all the rest of the locations I could possibly put in here and just do that. I don't know. That's pretty playable. You had me the fourteen damage. Really? Yes. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> if I hadn't been bleeding, I might have just squished the green room then. <laughs> That's why I chose this deck the second you said, Oh, I, we haven't played this deck. And yeah, oh, I'm oh. stabbing the shit out of your oh. ass. <laughs>
<laughs> well, as I say, I needed to get something to uh, mitigate bleed. Oh, maybe I'll put a Make Overlord in here. That'd be nice. No, I did have something. I just never got it. I have whatever, Nancy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Use when checking for cheating. Oh, no, that's the other one. Uh, <clears throat> all damage dealt is reduced to zero until the end of the fight. Which, that's even better yeah. than monster is only uh, doesn't deal any damage. Yeah. That's all damage dealt, which means that damage doesn't yep. count. Uh, the damage to the monster doesn't count. This is all damage dealt. Yeah. <laughs> not just to you, not just to me. Uh, I didn't get to put out my book of acts. The holier symbol. I should have got another one of those. Another healing salvo would have been nice. Doctor Meow practice. I do like the bootleg booty. That was a fun one. But uh, yeah, that was. I may have to either retool slightly. Uh, to get it back into playability, because 14 still means that he had six life left, and uh, as the man once said, the only damage that really counts is that last one. <laughs> so I can be fine and jovial up until the point where I die. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> No, it, it's all in good fun. I know that I lose, and I, I, he wins sometimes. I lose, I win sometimes. Okay, I win more than he does, but uh, when I win, it's spectacular. When I lose, it's a fucking cluster mess. <laughs> <laughs> it is fun though. <laughs> Let's say the, I believe having all 19 locations out at once would be uh, one of the coined terms that a friend of mine came up with. And uh, if he's watching, I would be genuinely surprised, but. You know, he is one of my best friends. An energetic Greco-Roman clusterfuck. <laughs> <laughs> Here? Uh, James. Oh. <laughs> I still haven't met you, James. Get your... <laughs> no, wait, was James the one that came down here to shoot with you? No, that was Jeremy. That was Jeremy. Yeah, and, uh... James oh, that was, was Jeremy. Yeah, James was here for a couple of, uh, Thanksgiving twos. He's the one that brought, uh, We Didn't Playtest This... Uh, to a few I hear that the year. final year. yes you were you brought your dad that year yeah that was the year you brought your dad when it was over at Stacy's oh Day. yeah the year my dad fell asleep with a hole in his crotch yes <laughs> <laughs> and that's all my mother could talk about <laughs> that's how she identified him for the rest of his life <laughs> I was talking to Tank's dad and like oh is he the one where I saw his penis on Thanksgiving too yes <laughs> <laughs> he didn't mean to <laughs> He forgot that they had holes in them until we were driving over. Yeah. Holy pants. Anywho, now that you've gotten some of our stories and life out of the way, too, uh, tell me what you think of my uh, crazy uh, location deck. Uh, how do you think that I should change it? Hi. <laughs> what do you think I should do to change it? Uh, how should I fix it? And... Uh, and uh, what, how would you play it? Uh, do you think it's fun? Do you think it's stupid? Do you think it's uh, worth playing? Uh, do you think any variation of it could have a chance in competitive play? Uh, but otherwise, be sure to like, share, favorite, subscribe, pay it forward, send us money, be excellent to each other, and we'll see you next time! Yeah, we really need to set up a P.O. Box so they can send us money. True. <laughs>